Hey, good morning, everybody. What are you being convinced of? What is it that's convincing you? The Rev here, time for a cup of coffee with Jesus. Guess what we're going to dive into today? In the book of Romans, chapter 8, we're going to see what we're convinced of by the Word of God. You know, I've been convinced of many things over the years in my life. I've been convinced to buy a couple of vehicles. I've been convinced to uh, not buy a couple of vehicles. <laughs> I've been convinced into believing one political party over the other political party once upon a time. And now I think differently. I'm just telling you, you're convinced daily of all kinds of stuff. But when it comes to the word of God, what are you convinced of? Paul wrote in the book of Romans and he was making and drawing a line in the sand and he was stating what he is convinced of. And what do you stand on and what do I stand on matters because that's what your kids are going to be convinced of. Yes, children are convinced even more than you are because they don't even have the mindset of maturity to think about some of the things that are going on. Yeah. So what are you being convinced of? It says in the book of Paul, just as it was written for your sake. We are being put to death all day. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. But in all these things, we overwhelmingly conquer through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor other created thing, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing, 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 nothing. Say it with me, nothing. I'm telling you, nothing can separate you. Nothing can separate you. And I love the part where it says here, nor any other created thing can separate you. Yeah, nothing can separate you from the love of God. Nothing will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Nothing. And are you convinced? Are you convinced today? Because you not being convinced and me not being convinced on where we stand in, in, the, in our love with God affects everything in our life. It affects everything. Because if you don't think you're worthy, you don't act worthy. And when you don't act worthy, you don't act right. And when you don't act right, things happen. That's just how it is. And we do stuff a lot of times because we don't feel like we're worthy because there's a separation. But Paul was drawing a very specific distinction that you are not separated because you're worthy. But in all these things, we overwhelmingly conquer through him who loved us. He conquered them because he loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor heights, nor depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing. So I'm just telling you, get up, get dressed, put your best foot forward, and go do what he's asked you to do, because nothing has separated you. Dust yourself off and go because he says nothing separated you from the love really but you. Yeah, it's because the love is a standard that's always there and we just are the ones that drift away from it and walk away from it because this standard is always there and nothing's going to separate you but you and me. I hope you guys have a good day today. Going and being amazing people in the kingdom of God. Because you're worthy. Go do it. Go have a great day. And while you're having a great day, remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. See you soon. Goodbye.